Hi, I'm Riley Wilson for the L2P Network and today we're reviewing a piece of gear a lot of you have been quite excited about for a long time, including myself. It's the Fishman Solo Amp. This is a 25 pound all-in-one speaker that's uh, over 200 watts. It comes with its own stand, it comes with its own bag. We're going to have a chance today to actually smoke test it and see physically what all the fuss is about. The Solo Amp costs about a thousand dollars street and uh, it does a lot of very cool things which we're going to have a look at. That they've got wheels on the bottom of it. And so for those of us that have the inevitable long load in into a club, a casino, a country club, a hotel, whatever, that's a real blessing. And there's some cool compartments in here that you can use to store additional gear like microphones, cables, tuners, etc. But let's measure it physically because many of you are thinking, hey, this looks great, but can I get it in my compact car? The, uh, the unofficial L2P measurement on this looks like it's about 43 inches long. And so if your trunk will allow you to store something that's 43 inches long, the top compartment with the uh, little accessory bag is 14 inches this way, and uh, it's only about, uh, about six and a half inches deep. So it's pretty small. Um, one of the cool things that the Fishman comes with is it comes with a shoulder strap, which you can carry the entire thing over your shoulder if you choose. And by the way, probably a good idea to be pretty hefty if you could do that. The other thing, of course, is that it's got the, uh, the handles here, which on a couple of gigs I've done works pretty well. Let's go ahead and I'll show you what's in the compartments. The top compartment is the stand, and that just pops apart with Velcro. I ship it from the factory with something to keep the stand from flopping apart. And it's a typical ultimate support style looking stand, which you then wide out. And then there is a, uh, there's a little metal um, cotter pin, if you will that will allow you to take it up and uh, we'll put it on the highest setting. One of the things that Fishman tells you to do when you do this is to put the tweeter, in which you'll see in just a moment, um, pretty much at head level. For those of us that are over six foot three, you might want it to adjust up a little higher, but it shouldn't be a problem to go to a store, go to a machine shop and get them to drill another hole for you. There we go. And that's how this part works here. Obviously, you'll lock those two down. The top compartment, as I said, is just a little zipper thing that rides on there. And uh, again, they've got some storage capacity for other things. We'll pop off at this point the top, which reveals the actual amp itself. Again, Fishman did a nice job of enclosing this in, uh, in plastic. And there's a, a convenient little carry handle that allows you to maneuver this reasonably easily. The handle is on the back. And then at this point, you simply pop this end of it right down on the stand like so. And it slides in place. Now let's take a look at the front panel. You'll notice that there are two channels in the front, uh, XLR jacks here combined with quarter inch jacks so that if you want to run two vocal microphones in if you can, what's more common for a solo act would probably be somebody using a vocal microphone in one and an instrument on two. Um, a couple of other things that are kind of cool about the unit. Um, they have a, a individual low, middle, and high as well as a, a gain. And then there's reverb levels and there's a four-way selector for reverb on here. You can also phantom power the unit which is great if you want to use a really high quality microphone. There's a master volume, there's a master reverb. And one of my favorite features which I've used a lot in the gig is this little mute button. Let's say that you're a guitar player and you use tracks that you perform with and play guitar and sing, which is what I do. We'll see that a little bit later. You can have all your levels set, and we'll do that in just a moment, and then press this button when you take a break. It leaves the microphone and the guitar turned off, but it will allow you to run your CD player or iPod through the system without disturbing levels. On the back panel, we've got effects send and returns for each of the channels, along with a direct input out. You may think, why in the world would he have something like that? The reason to have a direct out is let's say that you play a, an instrument like a mandolin or a fiddle or some other acoustic instrument. This is designed to reproduce any of those instruments with extreme accuracy. And this would allow you to use this for your on-stage setup if you're playing a big concert or you're playing a large hall. You can use this as your main amplifier and then direct out of this directly into a PA system via a snake or anything like that. It also has the all-important auxiliary input, which is where you'll run your CD player or iPod. You've got monitor in and out jacks, again, a, a DI mix, 
and the power button on the back along with the, uh, along with the detachable power cord. The handle on here, as I said, is uh, located in the back and it makes it fairly easy to grab. But there's also another little place on the bottom to grab. One word of caution, do not set this on its end without a stand because it will fall. It is top heavy. If we spin it around, I'll show you the speakers on the front. You'll see they've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and these are about a five inch, looks like a five or six inch speaker, along with the, the dome tweeter. This is the tweeter here. And uh, Fishman says, I believe it's 220 watts RMS. It's plenty of loud, clean power. It sounds really good. In fact, let me hook up my guitar and you can hear what I'm talking about. All right, I've got my trusty Ovation round back here. If we plug into channel one, what we're going to do is we'll turn the master volume, which is right here, turn that all the way off and then hit the power switch. You'll notice that we get power up. It makes a little boom noise. What Fishman asks you to do is to set the input channel. So you're getting some clipping right there and then back it off a little bit. And then we'll uh, unmute the main setting and turn it up. Now I had some EQ on the Ovation. Let's take the Ovation off. We're going to run this completely flat. I'll give you a chance to hear what it sounds like without anything at all. In fact, we'll even turn the reverb off just so you'll have a chance to hear it clean and uncolored. For reverb setting three, just for a little bit of uh, a little bit ambience. Now to put this in perspective, I've got the channel gain halfway up. I've got a completely flat signal here and we've got the power at about a quarter volume. Now, I'm going to go ahead and knock this down. We're going to take it to the gig. We're going to do this gig tonight at a country club in Dallas, Texas. You'll have a chance to hear me play and sing through it as well as run tracks. So you'll have a chance to hear the, the Fishman in all of its glory. <laughs> styles of music, some jazz, some classical music, some pop tunes, country rock, 
I think it's a great piece of gear for a variety of things. I think for the guy that's playing an acoustic instrument by themselves, playing an acoustic instrument with somebody else, playing an acoustic instrument singing, it is a fabulous piece of gear. Um, it doesn't have a tremendous amount of low end thump, so if you use tracks with it, be aware that you may have to EQ things so that it does a little bit better with that. If you're just playing acoustic guitar and maybe using a drum machine behind you and singing, it's more than enough. In fact, it has tremendous high end presence. It does a great job of really sort of uh, sharing the sound in a room. And because it's a projection and a tower, I think you get a lot better coverage. You don't have to play loud to be heard, which is another advantage. It's lightweight. It's certainly designed with musicians in mind. I think Fishman have a wonderful piece of gear. Congratulations, Fishman. I'm Riley Wilson for the L2P Network.